Hello everyone, I'm here once again to share to you the Word of God. And the readings that I'm going to share is the readings for this coming Sunday, April 2, 2023. The Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ. To start with, let's have our opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen, Lord God. Thank you for this opportunity that you give us the time to listen to your words, to Lord. Listen as your Holy Spirit that we may understand the readings that, I'm going to, that we're going to take up in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, since we have already our opening prayer, let's proceed to the Gospel reading. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus stood before the governor, and he questioned him. Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said. You say so. And when he was accused by the chief priest and elders, he made no answer. Then Pilate said to him, Did you not hear how many things they are testifying against you? But he did not answer him one word, so that the governor was greatly amazed. Now on the occasion, of the feast the governor was accustomed to release to the crowd one prisoner whom they wished and at that time they had a notorious prisoner called Barabbas so when they had assembled Pilate said to them which one do you want me to release to you Barabbas or Jesus called Messiah for he knew that it was out of invade that they had handed him over. While he was still seated on the pinch, his wife sent him a message, Have nothing to do with that righteous man. I suffered much in a dream today because of him. The chief priest and the elders persuaded the crowds to ask for Barabbas but to destroy Jesus. The governor said to them in reply, Which of the two do you want me to release to you? They answered, Barabbas, Pilate said to them, Then what shall I do with Jesus called Messiah? They all said, Let him be crucified. But he said, Why? What evil has he done? They only shouted the louder, Let him be crucified. When Pilate saw that he was not he was not succeeding at all, but that a riot was breaking out instead, he took water and washed his hands in the sight of the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. Look to it yourselves. And the whole people said in reply, His blood be upon us and upon our children. Then he released Barabbas to them. But after he had Jesus' course, he handed him over to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus inside the praetorium and gathered the whole cohort around him. They stripped off his clothes and threw a scarlet military cloth about him, weaving a crown out of thirds, they placed it on his head and a reed in his right hand, and kneeling before him, they mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! They spat upon him and took the reed and kept striking him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him off the cloth, dressed him in his own clothes, and laid him off to crucify him. As they were going out, they met a Cyrenian named Simon. This man they pressed into service to carry his cross. And when they came to a place called Golgotha, which means place of the skull, they gave Jesus 
wine to drink mixed with gum. But when he had tasted it, he refused to drink. After they had crucified him, he divided his garments by casting lots. When they sat down and kept then they sat down and kept watch over him there, and they placed over his head the written charge against him. This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Two revolutionaries were crucified with him, one on his right and the other on his left. Those passing by reviled him, shaking their heads and saying, You who would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, save yourself. If you are the Son of God, come down from the cross. Likewise, the chief priest with the scribes and elders mocked him and said, He saved others. He cannot save himself. So he is the king of Israel. Let him come down from the cross now, and we will believe in him. He trusted the God. Let him deliver him now, if he wants him. For he said, I am the son of God. They, the revolutionaries who were crucified with him, also kept abusing him in the same way. From noon onward, darkness comes over the whole land until three until three o'clock until three to the afternoon. And about three o'clock Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, Lima Sabaktani, which means my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some of the bystanders who heard it said, This one is calling for Elijah. Immediately, one of them ran to get a sponge. He soaked it in wine and, putting it on a rag, gave it to him to drink. But the rest said, Wait, let us see if Elijah comes to save him. But Jesus cried out again in a loud voice and gave up his spirit. And behold, the veil of the sanctuary was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth quit, rocks were split, tombs were opened, and the bodies of many saints who had fallen asleep were raised and coming forth from their tombs after his resurrection they entered the holy city and appeared to many the centurion and the men with him who were keeping watch over jesus feared greatly when they saw the earth weak and all that was happening and they said, Truly, this was the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Here, brothers and sisters, in the Holy Gospel, Jesus is, Jesus was obedient to, obedient to death, even the death on the cross for this reason because of this god uh, god greatly uh, god greatly exalted him and he bestowed on him the name which is above every name amen so brothers and sisters let's proceed to the first reading A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary. 
a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear and that I be here. And I have not rebuilt, have not turned back. I give my back to those who bet me. My cheeks to those who plucked my bird. My face I did not show from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here, my brothers and sisters, in the first reading, this mysterious servant prefigures Jesus, who, who signifies himself as the servant who frees all people, as the servant who made people free from sins through his death on the cross. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, let's proceed to the second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he entered himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here, my brothers and sisters, in the second reading, the glory of Jesus comes from uh, comes from his total uh, emptying of himself his uh, passion and death on the cross is are his exaltation again brothers and sisters his passion and death on the cross are his exaltation amen so brothers and sisters since we are already finished uh, let us have our closing prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen, Lord God. Thank you that you send us your Holy Spirit. Thank you for sending us your Holy Spirit na nabigay po sa amin na kaalaman na amin pong naintindihan ang mga pinag-aralan namin today. And, oh Lord God, help us that we may uh, na sana po, Panginoon, amin po itong maisang buhay at aming may bahagi sa aming kapwa. In Jesus' name, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. So, brothers and sisters, since we are, we are already finished, uh, I hope na may, may nakukuha po kayong aral at idea upang maidagdag ninyo sa iyong pagdalos sa Mass for this coming Sunday. This um, Palm Sunday, the Passion of Our Lord Jesus Christ. Ito po yung araw na kung saan eh, ginaganap po ni um, isina uh, we remember the day when Jesus uh, offered himself uh, for us for our uh, I mean to redeem us from our sins Amen so thank you very much brothers and sisters and then uh, please connect to my members Pop Jen Black, Flor Black uh, um, G G Juicy Monterola Black, Erin Pierce Charity Black, and Chloe Faith143. Yan po. At kung hindi pa po kayo subscribe sa mga um, channel nila, please subscribe, watch their videos, and comments. Masipa po sila magbalik. 
uh, sa inyo. Thank you so much, brothers and sisters, and God bless us all.